Yo, what's going on? Another vlog for you. Hot ass summer day in New York. Never show New York. Um, yeah, as you should have seen, instructed y'all to the video. The video I'm um, posted prior to this. You don't know what the topic is, but the subject matter is at hand. Um, is marriage. I don't know for whatever reason. Um video I just mentioned prompted me to want to make a response um it might have been more so not the video like I said I saw this over on Bitchy's site the other day I think it was yesterday and the circumstance um at the end she was like you know the question was do most guys think like this it's like you yeah, hope not <laughs> I hope that's not how people think we we view or society be even more messed up than it already is truthfully but um in regards to this I had, I had to watch it twice then the first time I watched the video I was kinda just lost not lost but more thrown off by the delivery of the video I'm one of those people like you know you you gotta kinda articulate your point a little bit more you start kinda wilding out and cursing too much I'm not gonna take a lot of what you're saying seriously but in the second viewing the brother did raise some um, some valid points don't know what his background is, but where he's coming from, if he's coming from a separated home, if he's coming from a married home, what life experience is he's applying to his point. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I think marriage, marriage is what gets judged because it's sort of the, the end point, it's the result, but I think people overlook the actual process and path that gets to marriage, which is the relationship in itself. Marriage, as he actually said toward the end, which I'll agree with him with, is that marriage isn't the issue, your relationship is the issue. But it goes further than that. As a man, at least when you reach a certain point, no man that's within my circle of people that I know is scared of marriage. Now, what they and myself too will say is that you will not force us to get married when we are not ready to do so. That's another thing. Timing does kind of factor in various ways when it comes to um, how people address this um, address this particular topic. But I don't think it's something it's something you should fear. I think as a man to want to create a a stable home household to be able to maintain your wife, and then the question comes: How are you looking at starting a family in this equation as well? I don't think there should be any reason to be scared of marriage. The idea or prospect that marriage is something that only prospers females, I don't buy that either. I mean, I think it prospers females if you can't maintain the marriage. And even then, if you do your due diligence in advance, a lot of what could happen can be taken care of. People look at it, you know, always said, you know, marriage is a business, marriage is, or is about money. Life is about money. Whether you get married or not, you don't have to deal with with money issues if you're going to be with this person for any extended period of time, let alone the rest of your life. Most states have it that if you co-occupy, um, co-inhabit together for a certain amount of time, you're basically recognized as married anyway. So let's look. So let's look at it. Um, me personally, like, like take take the prenup issue. I believe in them, but I believe in them less about you know someone trying to steal what I've got versus it's no different than no different than insurance policy to me the same way you have life insurance health insurance home insurance it's to protect you when if a bad situation happens you don't want to be dealing with certain issues in the heat of the moment when things are emotional when things are unstable you set things aside in advance you don't wait till a fire to get fire protection on your on your home insurance you don't wait for a car accident to get car insurance that's the whole point of it you take care of that in advance it's not really a problem excuse me looking even deeper into it marriage ends up being so twisted and misconstrued because the way that people go about relationships now is so ass backwards I think I said it on one of the blog TV um, shows with, um, with, with God's intellect is that you know it's not merely a matter of following tradition or what society tells you to do. 
um, at least from the experience and the examples I have around me, I've seen how it works. Meet a person, get to know a person, form a relationship, a, a strong, respectable commitment to them, engagement, marriage, sex, kid, family. That was the, you know, the, the old school way of doing things. Don't get mad now if you decide to create a new flow to go down and then the marriage don't work. Don't blame the marriage just because, you know, more often than not, people try to get everything all at once. You know, you meet someone, you like them, you have sex with them first, then you try to find out if you like them enough to keep them around. You hang out for a while, you eventually end up shacking up with no real talk or plan or idea of whether marriage is going to come up or not. Then you realize you've been living with this person for how long to find out, oh, now you're tired of them and you want to start over again. You know, heaven help if you, if you um, accidentally had a kid in that process, and then you wonder why marriage don't work. You can't be all over the place and expect that to happen. The idea was that relationships were supposed to progress in a manner that when marriage came, your history and your time together has been so strengthened and solidified that marriage is in, it's nothing. It's, it's, the next, it's the next step. It's the next progression. I hear somebody say, and I hear a lot of times, do you, do you need to be married? We're doing the same thing now that we would do when, you're, when you were married. The, the brother in the, in the video said, what's the difference the day after versus the day before marriage? And if you want to be super technical about it, not a whole lot. But look at it this way. A lot of people learn to drive, and I've, I've used this example before too. A lot of people learn to drive. Technically speaking, you don't need a license to be able to drive. You just need the car. You could get in, drive, and be all right. You know how to drive. But there's a degree of legitimacy. There's there's a there's a public acknowledgement. There's a, there's a degree of responsibility on your own behalf that comes with getting a driver's license. People in certain positions of authority, certain um, fields of business, certain professions take public oaths to uphold certain rules and duties in, in doing something, you know, from presidents down to, down to lawyers. That's part of what marriage is. It's not that you need to do something to be able to do this. No. Sit there, live with whoever you want to live with for whatever time. But there is a certain responsibility, there is a certain, there's a certain legitimacy that comes with marriage, just like getting your MBA, getting a you know, get, getting a, a doctorate, getting a, a certification or a license to be able to do something. You might know that feel inside and out, but the paperwork brings some legitimacy to it. It's just like with school. We know people who go to school, get degrees, and go one way, and there are people who skip school and can be successful. There is no one way to do it. Well, I just think, I just think the general knock that marriage is useless, that marriage is a, is a fantasy, and things like that, I think is a little overstated. If anything, I don't think marriage should be viewed as the be all end all for any any female, but it shouldn't be looked at as a as a want that's that's bad. There's nothing wrong with, you know, women coming up saying at some point they wanna have a family, they wanna settle down, be married. You know, do so in conjunction with other goals and other things you wanna you wanna reach. And I know me personally, um I know I want the the mother of my children to be someone that I said, you know, I've committed to for the rest of my life. You know, if you're saying things are the same now as they would be later, then what is the problem? You talk about the wedding is her day. What's wrong with that? If this is someone this is someone that you love and you want to be with, what's wrong with them having that day? That's the truth. A lot of you know, there's meaning in it for both people, obviously, but a lot of it is about the women. And keep it funky. Most women have gone through a lot more pain and suffering and have to deal with a lot more in the process than we do. So, if, you know, for them to get that, let them have it. Stop being so damn selfish. You know I mean? Let them, let them have their moment. And hopefully, if your marriage is strong and legitimized, it's not going to be a moment. It's going to be the start of something else. The idea that being, being girlfriend, boyfriend now is the epitome of what the relation is going to be, that sounds juvenile as well. Because... 
think about it. If you don't even have kids in the equation yet, you're not telling me what you know what I feel for a girlfriend today is equivalent to what I'm going to feel when she becomes the mother of my kids. It's two different things. So it's like, yes, enjoy the moment, be responsible, and be truthful in your moment. But that's not the be all, be all, end all of things. You know, that's that's kind of. That's kind of how I look at it. There needs to be balance in how marriage is looked at. There's going to be good and bad. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be issues that come up whether you're married or not. But I believe there is a there is a strength, there is a power in marriage if it's applied properly. And I think the path that a lot of people go on relationship-wise now kind of makes it difficult for them to achieve that. You know, you kind of put the you kind of put the the cart before the horse, so to speak, and then, you know, you go too far down the road with it, it's very hard to, to, to backtrack and do things, and do things differently, you know what I'm saying? Marriage, marriage isn't for everybody, that's a definite thing we get to say today, marriage is for a lot fewer people now than it was before, but I definitely don't think there's anything wrong with the institution of it, you just have to, you know, you have to know whether whether it's for for you or not, you know. But um, yeah, I think I just think that video that video warranted an opinion. Um, I looked on the YouTube channel and was looking to see if there were some there were some opinions. I mean, once again, I don't know um the original video. I don't I don't know the brother's background, his age, whatever the case may be. So you know, and as he said, these are all just opinions. Everyone fully fully empowered to follow whatever it is they want, but. Just figure out the list out. So, once again, if you didn't take a look at the original video, take a look at that first. Listen to what I've just said. Feel free to comment. Pass the video around. I definitely think we need more people advocating for marriage. So maybe we wouldn't have this this wave and this onslaught of people speaking down against it. But that's just me. Once again, y'all do what you gotta do. Enjoy the day. New York and it's hot as hell right now and I'm getting ready to go out in a little bit but um once again enjoy drop the comments I appreciate it